Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to show the numerical values of your HP, stamina, and mana using Ascent Combat Framework and Unreal Engine 5. Like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is open up your contents folder, go to full sample, and then you're going to go to your HUD. And then you're going to open your, so you're going to open two things. One is your WBP full HUD. And basically all you really want to do is just edit these. So you can either click edit stat bar here, or we could have just actually just opened the stat bar from here. And then what I'm going to want to do is I'll add a text. So I'll just search text and I'll drag and drop a text right into the canvas. So I'll check is variable. So position X is 200 to center this, and then I'll erase this text inside. And then what I'm going to do is create a binding and this is going to be get text. So now I'll open this up. And what I want to do is open up references under variables and data. We're going to do current value slash max value. So it's like current HP over your max HP. I'll drag the stat comp ref here and I'll copy paste it. And then I want to drag the statistics tag over here, get statistics tag. And then I'll copy paste it down here. So I'll drag this out and do get current value for statistic. Yeah, so this is the one you're looking for. And then the statistics tag will go here. So if you, you could just manually select it, but then it'll always show this one for, for example, if I just set this to HP or health, then they'll all show the health tag. And I don't want that. I want it to reference itself. And then the same thing, but this one's going to be get max value for statistic. And same thing here, just reference it to itself. And now we're going to do this two text integer. So we actually need to truncate this. So I'm going to do two text and then select integer and copy paste this and then just connect these return values. It's going to organize it a bit and then we're going to format the text, format text. And then what you're going to want to do for this is. So I'll open two pins and then I'll break it. And I'll do curly bracket zero close curly bracket and then slash curly bracket one close curly bracket and now you can define your zero and one here just make sure that the current value is going to be the zero and then the max value is going to be the one or whichever one's on the right in this case and now you can connect these results or result to return variable compile save and now you'll notice that when i run it and if I, or I guess I can't full screen it in this mode, but you'll see it working and it shows your, it'll show my stamina, for example, going down as my, and then it'll show my total stamina on the right of it. And when I exit it, I'll get this error. And if you're getting this error saying blueprint, runtime error, access none, trying to read property, blah, 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 blah. It's just because you need to validate. You need to check if the stat comp reference is valid before it actually returns the node. So all those valid, so this was happening before it even registered this part. So now what I'm going to do is add a valid and do the question mark one. They'll say valid. And then you're pretty much just going to do if it's valid, then it'll return the node. And then you can just copy paste it if you want it to be neater or they can all just technically be connected to one. And then I'll compile, save. I'll go to the full map, hit play. And now you'll notice that same thing's happening, but when you exit out of it, Ascent Combat Framework, you won't get an error this time. And yeah, that's pretty much how you show your stats. Like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching.